Hey guys and welcome to the Blues Bridge. So today guys we are doing another Premier League video and today I'm very excited for this one because we are ranking the Premier League home kits. Starting off with AFC Bournemouth. We're doing this in alphabetical order and I'm going to position on where I think are the best and the worst. This is Bournemouth's kit and you know what? I don't hate it. I don't love it, but it's different and it's unique. It's not that old because they had like these black and red, red stripes and they've gone for this sort of zigzag and sort of faded as well in the opposite direction as you can see in the middle and on the sides. But on the sleeves, they've got nothing to it. You've got black at the end. But I do, I do like it. I can't say I hate it. I don't love it, like I said, but it's it's decent and it's unique, like I said. If I was a Bournemouth fan, I would definitely get this home shirt. It's just not boring. It's not just the, the odd stripes again. Don't like that. Not a big fan. People might be, but this is different. So that is why I placed the Bournemouth home shirt in sixth position. That's right. Six out of 20. Not too bad. Next up, we've got Arsenal. That kit, as I've got to say, it is unbelievable. I really like this. Bear in mind, you guys probably have a different opinion on it, but I really like it. You know, they always have the same red in the middle, white on the sides. But they've gone for this new color design with some zigzags on it as well. Um, and you've got three reds of the Adidas on the sides of the on, the, on the shoulders. And I think this really goes, and I think this is probably the best shirt they've ever released. Actually, no, you know, they haven't. No, this is not the best. This is not the best, Harry. Let's stop there. I was actually a big fan of the banana edition. I think that's what it's called. The banana, it's had yellow and black. People might think it's disgusting, but it was different. It was out there. It was bold, and I like that. But this Arsenal shirt really, really stands out, and I liked it better than last year because they have got the colours. I do like the colours on this one. So I have put Arsenal second. I will say, though... Uh, Arsenal's away away shirt, the black one, is unreal. And you know what I will do? If this video does well and you like this video and it gets, I don't know, 30 likes, that'll do me. I will do ranking the Premier League away shirts or uh, away kits, I should say. I like this shirt. I really like this. I put them second. And Adidas have done Arsenal bits there. So, yeah. Can we just take a minute to have a look at Aston Villa shirts? It's beautiful. I can't lie, it's wonderful, I should say. I mean, can we just take a minute to appreciate this shirt? Look at the design. Look at the, the kazoo in the middle, we like that. But it's the design on the actual shirt, the whole V V line they've got going on the design there. I love it, the colors go well, obviously. They always have the generic like maroon type color, purpley uh, with the blue sleeves there. But the design really works well and was a lot better than last season. So I really, really like this shirt. So that's why I put them fifth. Moving over to Brentford. I know I was saying before about the whole stripes on the shirt. Not a big fan. But I like the colours on this. It's red and white. But I don't like the sponsor in the middle. That weird looking star. It just doesn't go with the shirt. But Brentford's colours are red and white. And I just don't know. It's not, and it's like this, what is that on the side of the, the sleeve as well? It's like, it's quite colourful. But it's not, it's not the worst kit. I'll come to the worst kits in a minute. But that is, it's, I can't hate it. I can't love it. It's, it's pretty average to be honest. I've put them 12. Moving over to Brighton. I don't know what I think about this one because it's just a bit weird. I'm going to be honest, what's that? I mean, they've got a bit of colour on it. It's it's standard, it's just basic, it's just a bit weird. It is very, very weird. The whole sponsor, it's like cut off here, then they've got the sponsor, and then it's just carried on. I mean, it would look better like that than it would with light blue on dark blue because you wouldn't really even see the sponsor. So I see what they've done there. But I think they could have made it a little bit better, and I don't like the yellow in it, or the collars, and the, the end of the sleeve, and just the little yellow lines in the shirt. It's just not my favorite. And I have put them in forcing position. Next up, we've got Chelsea, that's my team. And their shirt is a bit meh, to be honest. I remember reacting to the shirt in my first ever video on this channel, and I, I said this. Moving over to the big boys in blue. Come on, Chelsea. What the fuck is that? 
What the fuck is that? What is this? I mean, what's that around the collars? It's like a five-year-old just drawn a little design and they went, you know what, we'll have that. And what's that button doing there? I've only just noticed that. Why is there a but Why is there a top button? Why is there one button as well? It's grown on me a little bit, a little bit, just a little bit, but not, not enough. I really do prefer the away shirt that Chelsea have got. The, the home kit's just pretty basic. That it's, it's pretty much just blue with a little hint and it's very a faded design like a texture on the actual shirt and it's not it's just not my favorite and it's just a bit basic and i've got these weird collars as well i don't i'm looking at it right now and it, i don't know i just think knight could have done chelsea a little bit nicer they've just done them dirty here the collars just don't go it just looks like half arse to be honest so i have put chelsea in 17th position that's my team as well, so you know I'm not being biased, I am being honest. Next up, we've got Crystal Palace. And what the fuck is that? What is that? That's horrendous. Something else, it's it's not very good. It looks really shit, to be honest. Like, I'm, I'm going to be honest. Red and blue scribbles on the shirt. I think that's the worst. No, it's not the worst kit because I've actually got them... I've just got more worse kits to show you in a minute. I want to put these bottom, but I'm, I'm actually comparing to every every team in the Premier League, so they're not actually bottom. But that, I mean, what do you say to that? I don't like the design. I really don't. It's just it's just a bit of a mess. The whole the whole shirt is just it just screams crazy. Um, but it's not nice in my opinion. So I have put them 18th. Everton now, and this is their shirt. They've got a blue blue shirt, obviously, as they do. And they've got a bit of white on the sides. And they've got a new sponsor, Stake.com. I definitely prefer this in the old kit they had last season. I just really like it. They've got, like I said about the faded design on Chelsea's, but this is a bit more, it just looks nicer. It just looks cleaner. It just looks fresh. And it looks like a kit I'd want to buy if I was an Everton fan, which I'm not. But I do like their shirt and I have nothing bad to say about it. So I have put Everton in seventh place. Moving over to Fulham. This is what I was saying about having a worse kit than Crystal Palace. I mean, at least Crystal Palace have something there. It's just pretty boring, the Fulham kit. It's just obviously plain white, black stripes on the collar and the shoulders. And I don't even know, is that red? I don't even know, is that red? I don't know. And it's just boring. I mean, it's just a white t-shirt at the end of the day, isn't it? With a few little things on it. I mean, I reckon if this, if this shirt had collars, it'd make it better. Honestly, I'm not even taking a piss. I have put Fulham 19th though. Moving over to Leeds United. I like this shirt. It's not bad. It looks quite similar to the old shirt, but as you can tell, if you look very, very close and you zoom in to the actual shirt, it says LUFC. Very faint. I wish it was a bit, I wish it just stood out a little bit more. Not too much. I like what they've done with the end of the sleeves as well. They've got, they've got like a navy blue with yellow underneath. It just really works very well, especially with the sponsor and the badge. And everything just works together, unlike Fulham. Why was there red in there? I know they got a bit of red in there, the thing, but it just didn't go, okay? Let's move over. Right, we're done with Fulham now. We're over to Leeds. I wouldn't say I absolutely love this kit and it should be high in the table that I'm ranking them because it's still a little bit basic. It's nothing that screams, yes, this is fire. It's, it's better than Fulham's. So I have put this shirt in 15th place and again it's above Chelsea shirt. Leicester City now and I have no idea what the hell that is. The only good thing about this shirt is it's a little bit like a bit of like a bronze gold whatever they've got going on with the Adidas logo and Leicester's badge but does it really work with the shirt? Not really it's just plain blue massive FBS in the middle trade online it and what are those colors by the way I know what we we're saying before about Arsenal's colors but they look good it just doesn't look nice I'm gonna be honest uh, nothing else to say about this kit apart from the 16th Liverpool now and this is their home shirt it's plain red bit of, of a design going on they've got like a bit of a darker red on the sleeves but still pretty generic but there's something about this kit which I really like. I like the colour red. I mean, I like the colour blue. But this, again, is a lot better than Chelsea's. I put Chelsea 17th. I put Liverpool 10th. Again, I won't put them higher than 10th because it is, again, a pretty basic design. There's nothing to it, really. Uh, but I do like there's not... You, know, you can either have it a lot going on on the shirt, which just ruins it, or not enough and it ruins it. But I think Liverpool's shirt is just, it's just nice. It's all right. It's nothing to scream like this is a fucking fire shirt, like I said before. 
but it's all right. So I have put Liverpool 10th. Man City. I actually, when I looked at this shirt the first time, I didn't like it. This one is, it's still nice. Just not as nice as last season. I don't get the red. I still don't get the red. I said that in the first video. What's up with dark red around the collar, around the, the sleeves? What is that? And it, you know what? They've done, they've done something that I don't think they've done before is put the logo, their, their Man City's badge in the middle of the shirt instead of the side. It's unique. And they've also got the sponsor as well. They've got, oh, sorry, they've got Puma as well in the middle, just below it. And it's it's different and I don't hate it. And for that reason, I've put City in eighth position. Man United, what are they doing? Are they copying Arsenal? I think they are. I can't say they're copying it. It's Adidas. What is... What? It's like a B-Tech Arsenal. You know, like Arsenal have gone like, yeah, copy my homework, but don't make it similar. That is what they've done. They've just stuck United's badge on. And what can I just say, right? I don't know what that is. Is it like a crest? Crest or something? Black outline on the, on the, on the actual badge. The fuck is that? Ruins it. That really ruins it. And it makes it a lot worse. And thick, bold black lines on the shoulders as well. The collars are very, very similar to Arsenal's. It's not as good as Arsenal's. And that's why I put Man United 13th. Newcastle United. Right, I'm going to take back everything I said before about the stripes. I like the stripes now, actually. And this shirt just makes me happy because of how nice it is. And I'll tell you some things I like about it. The black and white stripes. Newcastle's theme is black and white. We know that. But I like how it comes down with the sleeve as well, with the black. It doesn't just go off and it go like a random position or direction like some kits do. This just goes nice and, f and flush with the shirt. But one thing in particular I really, really love about this shirt is the sponsor. Well, not the sponsor, but the colour of the sponsor. How it's like a blue gradient colour. It just works very, very well. And I keep looking at this and I think I wish I was a Newcastle fan, to be honest. One of the best shirts in the Premier League. So that is why I put them top they are first, Newcastle are first. Nottingham Forest. That is the worst kit I've ever seen in my life. I swear to God, I'm not even joking. That is, where's the sponsor then? Where's the sponsor? Nottingham Forest don't have a sponsor apparently. I don't like the shirt. It's pretty, pretty basic. It's boring. Nottingham Forest just played Newcastle. You take that shirt and then you look at it next to Newcastle's. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Newcastle first. Nottingham Forest, 20th. Southampton's kit. You know what? I'm going to say this, and I know a lot of... This is unpopular opinion. I know it is. But I'd like it. I like it a lot. I do. I didn't like it when I first saw it, but I really do like it. It, it just goes very well. Now, like I said about City, they put the badge in the middle and the sponsor. It looks really, really good. The design, the faint design in it, it's not just plain white, it's not plain boring, there's not too much going on. It's a nice kit and it goes with the sponsor as well. You know how the black lines come down and it goes round to the sponsor? It's just fucking horny and I like that. I have put Southampton in ninth position. Tottenham Hotspur. I said this in the first video, I like it. It's the best shirt they've ever made. I know you're probably going to go, oh, it's just plain white, it's not though got a bit of a design on and you know what i really like and i think this is just me but the color the sleeves in the sleeves i i just love it if it's just not there i don't really like it definitely 100 percent better than last season's just boring i don't know what i like about this but i think it is just about the colors and the sleeves that made me go when i first saw this I, it just blew me head off and i actually really like it it's phenomenal this shirt so i have put spurs in fourth position west ham now and they've gone for obviously the sort of similar shirt they used to go for but they've got this new little design going on on the shoulders but i like what they've tried to attempt on the shoulders it's i can see what they were doing and i don't know what it is about the sides when i was talking about here it's a bit thick, isn't it, really? And on the collars as well. It's not too bad, though. I can't I can't hate it. I have put West Ham in 11th position. Wolves now, and this is the last team of the Premier League. It's yellow and black like a bumblebee. I like it. I, I've said before, I don't hate Wolves. I don't know what it is about Wolves. I just love them. All I'm going to say is that if Chelsea ever went bankrupt, they went down. They let's Right, okay, let's put it into perspective. If Chelsea weren't, weren't even a club, they weren't a thing, and let's say they just... Ate, extinct and that was it final you know i'd have to pick another premier league team to follow the football to get into it it'll take a long time 
but I would go for Wolves. I'm not even just taking a piss. It's the last position in the list. I put them third. And that has been it. That is everything summed up, all cleared up, all in order. I might do, if this video does well, ranking all the Premier League away kits. So leave a like on this video. Remember to comment down below. And also remember to subscribe to the channel as well because we are trying to grow this channel as much as possible and as big as possible as well. So yeah, I've been Ty. This has been the Blues Bridge and I'll see you lot in a bit. Poof.